Hey everyone, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I hope y'all like the build. Now some of y'all already recognize like it's been done for a while and I'm just now being able to put the build video out. The reason being is because I'm I've got so many things I've got going on. Work, family, plus I've got two builds right now I gotta do. One is lined up that I'm doing right now, and then there's the one immediately after that. And unfortunately the builds take all my free time. But that's neither here nor there, and that'll be in future videos. So with that being said, there's a few people I wanted to make sure I gave a shout out to, and that's the main reason why I'm recording a end of the video clip. All right, first off, I want to say thank you to Killer Mods. Um, he was actually, not only did he, was he my Jiminy Cricket, so to speak, because I had a lot of over-the-top, buckwild ideas I wanted to do with this build. He's the one that kind of told me, don't say, hey, dude, that, that's going to kill the look, you know, let's not go that route, let's try this. He kind of reeled me in from going too overboard because I wanted this build to be just one of a kind, just nothing out there like this, you know, just wow. And he kind of drew me back a lot. So not only that, but he also did the two panels, the two acrylic panels here. Plus, <laughs> on top of that, he did the cables. Now, if you notice, the cables aren't your typical power cables. That's because they're speaker wire. And if memory serves, they're 16 gauge, I think. Um... If you're watching this, go ahead and correct me down below if I'm wrong. I'm not quite sure. I think they're 16 gauge. But that's never I've never seen any other build use actual speaker wires. And I wish I could take credit for that, but he's the one that actually came up with that idea. So that was phenomenal on his part. That's one of the things that sets his build off. Um, another person I want to give a shout out to is Eric over at uh, Spartan Water Cooling. Mainly because not only did he provide the second D5 pump. Yes, this thing has two D5 pumps. Um, he also helped me out with a lot of the fittings, mainly because either one, I was trying to get this done at a cutoff date, and the, some of the fittings I wanted weren't available. He came through, so I want to give a huge shout out to him. And then, last but not least, someone I give credit to on all my videos, because ever since Deadpool, he has had his hands in every build I do. And that's Jeffrey over at JM Mods. He provided the 360 rad cover, 360 radiator cover, um, plus he did the SSD cover, as well as the GPU support bracket. Um, those guys, all three of their links to their social media will be down in the description down below. Now, some of you guys are wondering, you know, the GPU backplate. The GPU backplate is, is what, you know, I made that one. But, unfortunately, the video doesn't show it or do it justice because there's a lot of hidden, you know, close to my heart meaning in the, in the backplate. If y'all know me, you'll see it and you'll recognize it. If not, you know, that's all good. Now, I'm going to try to make this as short as possible, he says again. Um, how you see it right now, this is version 1.0. Version 2.0 will be coming very shortly, probably around, I want to say, May, June-ish, because Industrial Carnage is going to QuakeCon. Um, Oris is actually going to, it's going to be displayed at the Oris booth. And it won't look like this. There's going to be some, there's going to be some changes to it. What are they? Well, you're going to have to stick around to find out or go to QuakeCon and see it in person. And trust me, you can ask some, well, you can't ask because hello, <laughs> but a lot of people that have seen the build in person, which has only been a couple, say that the video and the pictures don't do it justice because there's a lot of hidden details that unfortunately I tried. I could not capture them on the video nor the pictures. But nonetheless, there's a lot of things that's going to be happening with Industrial Carnage plus Y2K custom PCs. Um, big things happen. Now, you may have noticed the robot, as well as, even though the Oris Bird has been there, hint, hint, um, I've actually been sponsored by Oris on, partially on one build, and then another build. Um, which builds, well, you're just going to have to follow to find out. But I want to give a huge shout out to Oris, just for, you know, giving the small guys a chance, and actually seeing and appreciating everything I do. Um, this lets you guys know, you know, if no matter how hard you guys try, just keep pushing, you will get noticed. Trust me, your time will come. So with that being said, you guys, I want to keep this as short as possible. If y'all like the content, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the video. Yes, I know you're probably going to say the ending was painful, but it is what it is. So with that being said, y'all, much love, peace, and oh, like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Peace.